Fukushima and Tokyo are reporting four earthquakes right now. There's two 4.6s and two 5.2s. This is quite unsettling to me because just a short while ago, there were reports of the radiation levels in one of the containment areas of Fukushima, where one of the reactors has melted down, essentially. The sieverts were over 530 per hour, 530 sieverts. That is so beyond unprecedented levels that that's like instant microwave. And also, that's beyond instant microwave. The radiation levels out here in San Antonio, Texas are at 0.12. Yesterday, they were at 0.16. They've definitely been higher out here in this area for some reason. Now, Fukushima and Tokyo, there's 12.5 million people, over 12.5 million people that live in Tokyo alone. And it just seems like they've been getting blasted with earthquakes since 2011. I don't know if you guys think that there's something sinister there, if there's some type of harp technologies or something that are causing the tectonic plates to move. If you think there's some manipulation, if you feel it's just natural, maybe they're not playing ball politically, or maybe it's a spiritual battle, maybe it's a combination, maybe it's just money. Maybe like Alexander said recently when he came on the show from Israel, that there's some black market nuclear dump waste being blasted out there in Fukushima as a cover-up. I mean, there's a lot of different possibilities, and maybe all of those things are accurate. Maybe bits and pieces of that to create this puzzle. This is very interesting. I'm going to share this with you right now. It's February 26, 2017, and this is the map specifically. If you want to go to the website, it's got alerts that are great. So you're taking a look right here. Let me zoom in here for you. Okay, so Fukushima. It's still got the warning icon right there you can see it's a 5.1 next to it 5.1 and you go down here to Tokyo where you got almost 13 million people living 4.6 127 million people country of Japan 13.6 million I'm sorry in Tokyo, third largest economy, and they actually have been considering reopening nuclear power, you know, using that as an energy source again, even after Fukushima. Let's take a look here and see if there's, yeah, catastrophic damage level, of course. I mean, this is beyond catastrophic. The interesting thing is where it says number of affected people, they still have this listed as zero which they need to update that. Let's see if we can give you some better details on this real quick. They're not gonna give us a whole lot of info. Well, there you have it. So, I would like to get your opinion if you guys live in Japan, if you know somebody that lives in Japan. There was a gentleman that I saw on a YouTube channel recently that actually did a great job going out to Fukushima, and he was actually, he was going all over the place with a couple Geiger counters, and the levels were tested anywhere from 0.2 microsieverts, which is pretty low, especially considering the area out there, to over 7 microsieverts per hour, and you know, you couldn't get too close to the reactors out there, but if you see some drone footage, there's some drone footage that was recently released that had millions and millions of bags maybe not millions of bags millions of pounds i mean hundreds of thousands of pounds of waste radioactive waste in like heavy duty garbage bags it was, it was pretty frightening so let's say there's this huge earthquake out there or a giant tsunami and all that stuff just gets thrown into the ocean there should be more protection in that area i just don't understand it that that kind of stuff just is mind-boggling to me maybe it's to the point of they just don't have the answer um, maybe there's some dark, twisted agenda where there's these parasitic entities that are literally feeding off of the, the human host, but I don't even think they would want us all to be eliminated because if they're feeding off of us as an energy source, I mean, how about those insects in South America? I mean, there's plenty of articles, even in National Geographic, where these parasites will take over their brain and will essentially have that insect go to a specific area where that parasite will be able to grow at its most opportune potential. Wow, that was kind of spooky. I just had a fly drone. Did you see that? 
was kidding, but it was a fly. And then the thing like essentially dies and this like parasitic beanstalk pops out of its head and then it regrows somewhere else. I mean, body snatchers all over again. So anyway, getting a little off topic here. I'm digressing. Love to get your opinions. Guestbookingselitproject.com. If you're looking for detox products that can help offset a lot of this just nastiness in the environment that a lot of us don't have control that we're going to be around anyway, uh, I would check out getthetea.com. Make sure to use the code Leak Project. They've got a ton of really good products there that are very effective. And if you have any questions, you can talk to the owner personally, send them an email, you can talk to me, and have a wonderful day. Question everything, be the change you want to see.